Third Generation Computers, 1964 to 1971. Imagine a world where computers once filled entire rooms, yet could barely do what your smartphone does in seconds. Now picture a moment in history when all of that changed, when machines became faster, smaller, and more intelligent. Welcome to the third generation of computers, a period between 1964 and 1971, where technology took a giant leap forward and reshaped the digital world forever. In this video, we'll explore how the third generation revolutionized computing, what made these machines different, and why they matter even today. At the heart of this transformation was the integrated circuit, or IC. Unlike previous computers that used bulky and heat-producing transistors, ICs packed thousands of electronic components into a single chip. This innovation led to machines that were faster, more reliable, energy efficient, and much smaller in size. These improvements weren't just technical. They opened the door for computers to become more widely used beyond government and research labs. Universities, large businesses, and government agencies began adopting these machines for everyday tasks. One of the most significant developments during this generation was the introduction of the operating system. For the first time, computers could handle multiple tasks and programs without manual intervention. This shift made using a computer more efficient and user-friendly, a massive step toward the personal computers we know today. Famous systems from this generation include the IBM System 360, the Univac 1108, and the Honeywell 6000 series. These computers supported a variety of applications, from scientific computing to commercial data processing, making them incredibly versatile. The third generation of computers wasn't just an upgrade, it was a transformation. The use of integrated circuits and the birth of operating systems didn't just make machines smarter, they made technology more accessible, scalable, and ready for the future. This era laid the foundation for everything that came after, from the rise of personal computers to the devices we carry in our pockets today. If you found this journey through tech history fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you'd like to dive deeper, be sure to check out the full blog post at exploretoday.blog. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, where we continue exploring the world of computing, one generation at a time.